Alrighty, back again. I think we've probably done about 95% of the area or night. And I've been thinking a lot about how I'm gonna go back over this thing, mostly on the flower. It's uh, very conspicuously, the shading is, uh, is definitely off the way it is now. And we're gonna basically do a lot of graying. We're gonna add a lot of gray to the areas that are in the dark. But for now, we're just gonna continue along as we have been this area right here. Let's kind of start off by giving the upper border of it. The upper border here. And this really probably shouldn't take too long. We'll see. So look, we've got, let's just take the dark gray, because I've finally learned that if you use anything other than a dark gray to do stripes or lines, they it's just gonna disappear when you smudge. So look, we've got this. The further I have to reach, the harder it is for me to see when I look at the computer. This is why next time I do this, I'm gonna have a big TV monitor right there up against the wall. I learned a lot doing this. This kind of comes in. Yeah, I think I'm. Um, to say it, but I'm already thinking about the next project I want to do, which is not good because this one is not even close to done. We still got probably 20 hours of work on it. Yeah, I'm definitely, definitely at the point where I am definitely reaching too far. <sighs> definitely don't have good control over what I'm doing. I mean, it's not terrible, but it's not ideal. And that is what happens when you too big of a project. This is, um, got this little stripe kind of coming right here. All right, 
right, so now we've got, let's use this kind of this sort of this green. I mean, really, what this is a raindrop. It's got some uh, green coming over the top of it. Coming in here, let's just draw this in a little bit. Let's um make this a little darker, this little thing. Alright, I think we can now take out every single grid line. We don't need them. I'm going to put a fair amount of gray in the back, so it should do well to cover up red lines that remain. If I would just get off my butt and find a normal white gum eraser, I wouldn't have to do this. Vacuum all that mess up. I think I'm gonna put the gray on first. Let's see, let's see. Let's, Jesus. Put some of this middle gray. Let's see how that. Well, let's put this blue in first. This is blue. Let's put some blue in this little thing here. Kind of right here. Let's we'll put that in. There's a little more over here. Actually, some over here too, but let's just make everything gray first. Hopefully, it needs to look darker than this stuff. It's all about relative. Uh, let's see, are we messing that up too much? No, that doesn't matter too much. Listen. The border is going to be most important when we put a green on top of this. Over here, we can bring it down pretty good until about right here. Then it becomes kind of all oh, this white reflection up there. So we'll leave most of that alone. Let's first, let's make this blue a little darker and the gray in between. <whistles> let 
let's see if we can uh, actually make it all. You know, the blue is always confusing to me because it feels like it always wants to be darker, but it's, it's like annoying. It's like a dark shade of light blue. It's weird. Let's um, all right now, let's just add the, let's use that light green first, see how that, I guess it, it really, honestly, let's put a little more darker gray kind of just on this stuff. It needs to look dark compared to that. That stuff. I don't need to put too much. I'm hoping that the light green actually has the effect it's supposed to have. I'm not sure. I think it will. We've definitely got some light blue over here we kind of need to throw in. Now it's probably okay time to do it. All the way up to here. Then over here, I kind of got this sort of There and then sort of more prettier blue kind of right at the edge. Not too much though, just a little. Alright, let's um take our the dark olive and just highlight these little stripes. Just a little bit. So, kind of go over them a little bit. Because as usual, it's just sort of like combination gray green thing going on. All right. Now, let's take this light green. Try to just kind of. Put a sort of greenish tint to all of this. Seems to work okay. I'm just gonna have to put a little more of it over here. Let's take, hmm. I think we just need, see the problem here is we're going to need fairly solid gray coverage up to a certain point. It needs to be pretty solidly gray and it just kind of fades. Stop right on there. 
and of course this doesn't need to look darker let's put that blue on top of this kind of it's actually kind of this grayish and bluish tint Which is there. Okay, let's um kind of fade that into the back. We don't want it to be too distinct. But we do want this border. I mean it's not a sharp border, but the dirt definitely needs to contrast with the light. It needs to be two different areas. Clearly different things going on. Although, it's actually not that light on this side either. Let's see if we can uh, just kind of up until that point when it brightens up. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, um, let's try to actually sharpen our eraser. Didn't I have sandpaper up here? Yeah, there it is. Let's try and make some of these pale things kind of kind of things shine through a little bit. The most important thing when you're doing this kind of stuff, everything needs to be irregular. Like if you make it symmetrical, or if you don't make it sort of bounce around randomly. The whole effect is lost. And I am not good at that. I tend to screw it up usually, but. There's a couple bright areas out here too. Over here it's really. There is this minuscule shade of red kind of right in here. Let's just see if we can add some red in here. Mm, that didn't work. Well, maybe it did. I don't know. All right, let's use the white. All right, let's put in some of this stuff. Some of this kind of almost has a linear Let's use our medium gray to just put a few sort of little little flecks of you know it's not perfectly white right there. Whew. 
and so it's kind of smudged some of these make them a little less conspicuous Let's get a little more of that kind of just greenish yellowish kind of tinge around here with this light green. This pencil was supposed to disappear on us. There's actually just really dark red I'll tell you this is an area we're gonna have to um we're gonna go over I believe with the darker gray eventually um like I said in my opinion at this point this whole adding a little more green this whole picture is going to require just a big layer of gray. Just kind of covering the whole freaking thing. And I think that is going to be to de-emphasize some of these um, um, shade color some of the color is too brilliant it's too contrasting and we're just gonna have to kind of take very broad strokes let's oh jesus son of a... <sighs> unbelievable all right i'm gonna turn it off and reposition the picture and then we'll get started because I can no longer reach anywhere. Let's get started on that part. 